Hi guys, welcome to another intriguing episode of Tight, the acting industry talk show. I'm your host Doris Moto. So today I'm so excited to be seated next to one of Kenyan's brilliant actors, Malik Lemi. Hi. Hello, hi. Welcome to Welcome Home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Karibisho Sana. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to be finally here. I've just been seeing you guys on social media na siko na jo who are the people behind it. But at least today ni mejua. Yeah, na <clears throat> thank you for the intro. That's uh that's a really <laughs> I'm honored to know that actually, you yeah. know. Yeah, and my people know me as Malik Lemi, mm -hmm. especially from social media, but that Lemi, Lemi the full name is Lemuel. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Lemi is just a family name that I picked and said ache ku Instagram name yangu. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what I choose to. Wow. <coughs> How has the journey been? The uh, journey in the film industry. The journey has been amazing. Uh, I've had um, I've been here for quite some time and I can't take it for granted. Any kila kitu nimepitia in terms of the acting industry and all that is God because you know this is my 17th year and the year is already ending so next year will be my 18th. So I might just do something small for myself, my family and my friends to celebrate the milestone. Yeah, for 18 years when mtoto amekuwa mkubwa, amekuwa adult. Eh mtoto amezaliwa amekuwa adult. Yeah. So I've had 18 I've had 17 years so far. Yeah, next day it will be 18 years when it reaches Ju July there because I started this thing in July or September somewhere I can't remember. Yeah. So the journey has been good. Ime kopia na up and down up, ups and downs zake. But we're grateful. Nothing in Ezra move kwa straight line to evil. Lazima kuwe na milima na mabonde and we understand. Yeah. Ushai feel like you want to quit? Yeah, definitely. Because I think when you start this thing, kama uja understand, unataka kuifanya. Because, okay, personally, when I started, because I started this thing in 2005. Not, I wouldn't really call it this thing. Mm -hmm. I started acting in 2005. And 2005, Nika Junction, but I wasn't, I didn't really have a, like a major role. It was just like three episodes and then I left in 2006 because my mom was heavy with my sister. So, um, so I left. So 2006, seven, Sikwa I was just playing football here in South B. But then when it reached 2008, I did um, auditions for Machachari. Yeah, and uh, Naomi Kamau that time, because mm -hmm. Naomi Kamau was my, <clears throat> like, the person who really um, geared my career to where it is now. Yeah, so 2008, I do Machachari auditions, and then we get it, and then we start shooting 2008, 2009, and then 2010, Machachari is aired on TV. Yeah, and, and now <clears throat> it's been a strong journey. Mm -hmm. It's been a strong, long journey, successful. Na pia sometimes in kwa na ups and downs, especially especially when it reached 2019, mm -hmm. and like I was tired of of doing what I was doing for a long time, so I quit. And then after I quit, I realized ah, I don't wanna do this thing anymore. Nini ni likuatu na mavitu zangu apa zina na pita your time. And then 2020 comes and my friend Boogie calls me and he's like, Yo, by the way, bro, we miss you back on screen. You need to be back. So I was like, ah, me bro, me and Lichoka, nice stuff. So we kind of talked, and then he talked, he talked to me, Nini. And, and the other time, uh, after Tumongeo Yote, I get auditions from uh, Kina, yeah, from Godi, casting director of Kina. And yeah, I did, I, 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 I tend to think I did well, because they picked me. Yeah, so I came back to screens, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Mm. Speaking about auditions, how do you prepare for auditions? Well, <clears throat> Um, before, I wouldn't, lie, I wouldn't lie, before auditions were really, really giving me butterflies. I used to get anxiety whenever I was in an audition room. Because aside from Machichari, when I was young, I did a lot of commercials as well and infomercials. And these things also need auditions. And also did, um, I did a, a feature film, I also did some short films back then. And anytime I'd walk up in that audition room, yes, producers your time, my friends, I'm a, like friends to my mom. I'm a to me Joanna to along the way. But like I'm saying, I a no. So you're like, oh my God, what do I need to do? <clears throat> but nowadays, I, I believe I ace my auditions because COVID really helped. When, when you, you know, when you, when you do self-audition tapes, uh, that thing kills all the anxiety. So I've gotten most of my jobs from self-audition tapes. I've, like, ata itaji call back. Ni letu unapigia lafu unambiwa, eh, bethe tumependa. Kaziyako, so they are really helpful. Now, nowadays, at a squeeze, at a nikienda auditions like 
um, on site. I don't really get that anxiety anymore. Yes, these butterflies. I believe every actor, even the experienced yeah. ones, will tell you, "Kuna ako ka moment ka butterflies," because you don't really understand what the producer wants. So you're fighting with your head to know what the producer wants. Ama the director, your time when you audition room, ama casting director. But then kume ni kuingi atu na kuflow na ata kupenda tu yuko venue, venue. Because so auditions have, you know, to some people auditions are uh, give them anxiety. To some people auditions are a way to show the people that I deserve this job. So yeah, so I'm 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 torn in between. But nowadays I tend to lean in terms of I tend to lean towards getting the job. Kuliko anxiety. Yeah, new, yeah. new, maybe it makes sense. Mm. Now, Sasa, maybe you really wanted a role. You have gone for an audition and you have not gotten it. Mm. How do you handle that rejection? I remember <clears throat> 2020. Was it 2021 coming to this year? Uh, December. Uh, was it 2021 December? Yeah, we had some auditions for a, an, a long series that's there in Endele In uh, I won't give the name, but yeah, that was one of the first times that I felt I okay, sir. So, but the best thing is, one of my closest people got the job, got the role. So yeah, I came back home and I was like, okay, maybe maybe director to work on Anipenda, or rather, unajua when you're famous, people tend to believe that, ah, we are going to Maringo, ama to kimpati a job, to kim book for the job, he'll start, hii mambo ya, ini tuangaji, um, atanza kutusumbua on set, vitu kama hizo, but, but the, my greatest joy was, I overlooked it, and I was like, you know what, the industry is still large, kuna vitu mingi za kufanyi ukunji, so yeah, my, my brother got the, the role for the series, and I'm really happy that he did, because he does the series justice, ata maybe kunish, kunishinda venye mini ngeifanya justice, and the best thing as an actor, or rather as, as a young person, who's, who's done acting for a long time, is when we tend to hold each other strong, like, leo mimi ni yangu, kesho ni yako, na hakuna beef, hakuna anything, that's the best thing. Because at the end of the day, sisi ndo tulabaki kuwa pioneers, wa this industry, when, when the legends are gone, when the rest of the people are gone, inaitajio continuity. So, sisi ndo tutakuwa hapo, na tutataka wale the upcoming generation, wakuwa na kusana over rules. It's good to have healthy competition, it's good to have um, moments where you're like, yeah, he, he deserved it more than I did. You know, it's good to accept. Hi, another time that I that I got that I got a no was something that we had already started shooting and we shot it for some time. So on the last day of shooting, uh it's an amazing series, but on the last day of shooting I uh took an uh, I think break and then I think one or two days could be said. And then I was calling Nikambe, hey, uh, by the Malik, the director ako ako very skeptical about you playing that character uh tena kusababu kuna mapatsi zinaonekana ziko strong na kama singefanywe hivyo nilikuwa kwa comfort zone cuz unajua niko like ah mimi nishajua like mi unajua mi hakuna kitu naweza nilemea but that thing really helped me to go back to learning in terms of kuangalia facial expressions, what I need to do, breathing techniques and all that. So for every, me, I take every, I won't call them rejection. I take every no. I'm a every, um, time when you're talking to me, you're going to be a bad. I take them as the greatest things in life. Because I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn, I'm going to learn. Because sometimes you tend to think that, <coughs> I mean, I'm that guy. But in, in our industry, trust you me, I'm not that guy. It's either you deliver, or you go home. So people get it twisted. At one time, oh, Kwani Malik no playing it role peke yake. But but people get it twisted. No lie, cause eh hey, yo, it's it's crazy. Deliverance is crazy, and uh, people don't understand the the struggle that actors go through to deliver so that an audience can believe. You get when you when you never say, hey, when you character me fanya, um say me fanya character justice. See we engi, una get yeah. So I've only those are two two nannies that are still that still linger in my mind those two experiences but i'm i'm forever grateful that they happen yeah after you've gone for an audition and then maybe you've gone home you're chilling nini, nini, and then you get that call that call that says you've gotten the role yeah like how back yes either. yes how does that feel well <clears throat> if it's a call back that's another time to you know go back to the slides or rather the sides 
and go through the sides again obviously ukienda tena kwa room hata kupatia the same sides kama ni call back mm. unapitia una try to understand character because now uko one step to just to that prize unajua eh uh, so even no me ufanya normally when i get a call back call back bado si yes ni katikati ya yes na kale na yes so ni wewe upatia ni hiyo yes so lazima u. so hapa at least home it's a family of filmmakers family of uh, my father is a dop director of photography though i don't live with him here my mom is a producer and director and my sister is a, is, a, is an actress so hii nyumba si usaidiana mtu moyo anapata call back tunaanza training nini your time nini about the role tunaiongelea tunasema maybe hii role inaweza kaa hivi and then when you go and do those auditions now after the call back you ask them kabisa hi if i've just been called and i've been told you've been booked for the role <coughs> Pray, uh, i start by praying and thanking god i'm just like eh hey god maze um asanti sababu ni watu wengi ni wanoma kunishinda but ni mimi nimepata hiyo auditions i mean ni mimi nimepata hiyo role so i'm grateful so naanza kujichunga <coughs> sianzi tena saa kwenda end out nini naanza kujipreserve ndio hiyo role ni niende ni pige sitaki kwenda kupata injuries nivunjike mkono na shoot ni next week but one unaona mm-hmm. so me chill home call my friends over nini alafu My mother taught me one thing don't share good things before they actually come to life I don't know that if that's an african saying cuz wasas wengi believe hivyo yani ile usiambie watu kwanza kitu wenyewe unaenda kufanya until it okay ndo waambie yeah so mimi uko nimetulia napata ngama jobs mingi my friends come over i don't tell them But just wana shinda eh maliki wako in good moods alafu wananiona in the next two weeks maybe siko huku niko coast maybe nafanya project ama niko mahali nimeenda kupiga project yeah na hivyo tu ndo mimi niko so I've, i've answered you twice when it's a callback and when it's a booking now yeah a lot of kenyans right now wako tu hivi kwa simu tunangoja the next episode on show max ya pepeta kindly tell us about your role in pepeta well <clears throat> my role in pepeta is really deep and it's um, it takes you as the audience to understand okay i'm playing the character dimore so i feel like i might be saying something about dimore but another person atasema ai dimore hapana dimore yako even 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 but for me even you understand character yangu hata ni on set under the guidance and stewardship of um, Mbaya who is the director and James and Mwangi Rurengo James Kombo and Mwangi Rurengo who are the producers really understand that um Dimore ni mse okay, look back from episode one, Dimore ni a 17 year old guy okay in as another young the young people kwanza na the young kids inatunesha tukiwa 12 years old alafu now we are 17 so Dimore is a first of a bully <laughs> he's a bully ni mtu mwenye uongeaga sana hata kwa vitu zenye ajui dimore ni danda shule unaona yeye ni danda anyle but hiyo danda yake hata haikubalingi yeye utakanga kuonesha say you know what like mizi danda ni vile tu chuo chuo ni ya mafala but in real sense yeye ni danda <coughs> dimore ni mtu anapenda kukaa po unaona mm. dressing nini mtu anakula luku Yeah, yeah anajali what people will perceive him as unaona yeah so dimore pia ni msemo yako na wivu sana na some of his friends wenye wanajiendeleza wana akona wivu deadly dimore pia ni msemo anapenda madem you know kingly anasan anapenda madem na ni msemo anajua sana kuliko his age kwa sababu 17 peke yake but already anaongelea kuhusu sex anaongelea kuhusu tei anaongelea kuhusu mambo weird weird so Hizo ndo hizo ndo characters zenye naweza sema Dimore anakari as a person but overall Dimore uh, on the positive side ni mse mwenye anapenda kukuwa na friends anapenda Dimore is someone who wants to be around people he's not a loner and he doesn't like staying alone so he, I, i tend to believe he's an extrovert cuz hata unoni yote mwenye wanaambia we in the club I'm enjoying like and I say hey, twendeni club hata maybe ajai kwa kwa club before ama clubs zenye amenda ni hizi za za uh, disco matanga lakini you know love dimore pia ukimwangalia on the positive side ni dimore's dad is a, is a drunkard no na kuna mali mtakuja i think mtaona my father dimore's dad is a drunkard so dimore alianza kujitafutia akiwa mdogo so no nizo ni side zenye unaona yenyewe why anabehave and anabehave it comes from a really broken home 
I didn't get uh, to understand where the mom went. I think the mom died or something, but the dad is a drunkard. So I'll chase out, I think, Alafu Dimure started, started living alone. So he started, yeah, so no mana attack you and all my friends work, and I shindua, out on a niambia nini. Namine she so lo mindo na jua life. Uno na so out on a niambia nini. No mana so no antaka kwa ring leader. But Dimore has a really soft spot for Junior. Junior is like um, Dimore's best friend. Yeah, Dimore loves Ade. Dimore loves uh, Dayo. Dimore loves Chira. But there's a really huge uh, soft spot for, for Junior. Because Dimore wants to see Junior win. Despite him being this bully, this person who... But I'm going to win. And he'll do anything for Junior. No, no. Along the way, Dimore becomes close... Uh, comes to being close to... Chira, pia chira, kasa buchira na dimore wana wakona almost same qualities. Ni yao ni bullies, ni watu wongiaga sana, ni watu wanaishi ahead of their time. So, but before, awaku waga close na chira, kuzi dimore alikuwa nonaga chira kama ni mse, hey, chira na chaje chuo. In as much as dimore ya pendi chuo, but ako like, ay misis ya chachuo yet. Juhi na nizani lete ya ibu, dimore ya pendi ya ibu. And then ukiangalia mtu kama ade, dimore ako, ako so na need to ade, ako ile, who, who the hell does this guy think he is? Hit. Anytime sisi tukuntuna ongelea mambo za geto, ya anakuja hapa anasema, ati, si lakini sipo wa kuchunia wa sisi, umi niko like, always understand struggle yetu. Unawana, haya, for Dayo it's different, because tuko design ile ya, man, Dayo is better than me, <laughs> but that's why Dayo is better than Dimore, but Dimore ya kubalingi. But bado anapenda Dayo, because Dayo si mtu wa haletangi shida, he's peaceful nini. So yeah, but he really has a soft spot for Junior, and he's willing to see Junior succeed, no matter what. Yeah, you will come to see it in, in the coming episodes. Yeah. Do you feel as if kuna any positive change in the film industry right now? A lot, a lot. Any everything. At I think that that question is self-explanatory because, even in terms of wages, yes, atu je fika po mali tunataka. Because obviously, look, yangali our industry atu si ende mbali sana uende South Africa. South Africa uneza fanya maybe series no lipwe a lot of money yenye maybe hata inaweza kubaya keja but Kenya bado hatuchafika hapo but we're slowly going there cuz mimi yenyewe nikikompare siku nilianza 2005 na sai eh, 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 there's a lot of change even in terms of wages and how cast are treated unajua before cast ilikuwa tu but nowadays cast kuna venye mnatreatiwa kuna pia venye crew inatreatiwa a lot has changed we have a lot of like beautiful manpower in terms of crew the crew at ondo bado hutumika do you know that Kenyan crew to make a shoot Nigeria? Most of them. Eh, so ni crew yenye inajituma. Me I believe Kenya is the best in terms of filmmaking in Africa. It's just that resources. But it's really beautiful that now CS Ababu na Mwamba amekuja na Okay, bado mimi sijaona changes in terms of hizo vitu zenye alisema, but I'm sure it has into effect. And Nani Poa aliongelea stuff. Also, kudos to Nyokabi Masharia. I think her talk during Kalasha her, her winning speech was one of the best that I've ever seen coming from a Kenyan talent and a beautiful Kenyan actress as she is like nearly kwa like wow because most people win and they say ah oh, thank you what when you vote but watu wakumkagi yes watu watakuvotia but unarudi wapi nyumbani ni film na hiyo film kuna ma vitu zinahitajika so and shout out to every casting director out here mwenye and at least anaweza sema anaweza patia anaweza but you have to open auditions. I say, yo, come for auditions. People like Akina Lorela Joey, Kevin Ogola, Isaiah Evans, Jibaba. Um, na wako, wako wengi sana. Unawana? Hey, our say, we may open up industry pia to, to the coming generation. At least we know the industry won't die even after some of us will be long gone. You know? Yeah. Mm. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. So, Nikulize, currently, which is your favorite Kenyan film? I tend to lean, okay, first it's Pepeta, <clears throat> the second one that I really enjoyed is, was Lusala on Netflix, but ya kwanza ni Pepeta, and I, I, I'm not saying this because about nilikuwa nini, but Pepeta is the best show coming from the 254, no lie, I'm sure you'd also share the same, because this is the first show that Nimona, most Kenyan shows are Zinaga details, but Pepeta had lots and lots of details, and man, Mbaya is just, a magician like na jawasi usema eh hey, mbaya mbaya but wasi usifumbaya but mimi mi na, na msifile genuinely because nilikuwa hapo na niliwak niliwak along niliwak chini yake yake wa director wangu niliona what this guy 
maze he's he's just top notch man wenye ufikiria wenye ana <coughs> sorry wenye anafanya craft inatoka mimi na kuchange hata kama ulikuwa unafeel ai mimi sitaweza kufika hiyo hiyo level but anakufanya unafika bila wewe kujua bila wewe kurealize so shout out to him so no mana pepeta na semani ya kwanza ya pili nili enjoy ni lusala i i love films ambazo zinaongelea um uh, mental health sababu ni kitu ki kwa society na na, na pia zinaongelea zine family drama and all that the other one enye nili watch nikapenda ni nafsi Yeah but Nafsi is not my number 3. I forgot not my number 3 was Country Queen. Yeah Country Queen is my number 3. And then four Nafsi I guess. But Nairobi Half Life has to be number 2. So you move them. Number 1 ni ni Pepeta number 2 Nairobi Half Life number 3 um nimesema Country Queen nafu number 4 I mean number 3 Lusala number 4 Country Queen number 5 Nafsi for now for now is one of is one of those and me watch and i'm like wow i'm glue i was glued to them and i finished is what nearly maliza hizo series ama film nearly maliza yote yeah. wow but this you come on a job but you are one of the most inspiring um kenyan filmmakers yeah, thank you what inspired you to start your own production company um what inspired me to start my own film company was the urge and the sell and the urge to help the youth that have not even help them because they already have that talent to give these youths a voice because i know i have a voice to give them a place where they can come and say this is like this is ours no na pia what inspired me to start my own was the i think i really had this something inside me burning thing that really wanted me to to speak on behalf of of what people are going through in Kenya to make films and to do films you know it's it's not easy it's it's, it's crazy man hiring cameras booms lights ni ni it's very expensive hiring talent and i also wanted to be i still want to be the first producer who will pay an actor 2 million bob kwenda juu in Kenya I that's my prayer and that's what I believe Amen. that I will do because I've seen I've I've been an actor for a long time and I've seen what actors go through coming to set mtu anakuwa abuse no coming to set and, and and being told that you're a good for nothing coming to set and and feeling like you're inferior because kuna ma actors wanoma kukushinda no no I I speak to a lot of young talents or rather I speak to a lot of people who want to be I um, want to be in the film scene or rather the film uh, film environment but wana niambia eh maze mi kuna mse fulani kuna actor fulani ama actress fulani mkubwa hii Kenya aliongelesha vibaya I want to I want to speak for those guys you know at the end of the day because I understand how it feels to be told you're not good enough you know or rather to be told that you are inadequate and I totally understand that because I come from a space where we already had a big name So you've already set the bar high. Ukienda chini yake no one is there to tell you, "Eh, hey, just breathe. Now do this." Sisi tuna expect you aga kuko always juu 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 because we were started off from machachari at yes. So you know, you guys have already set the bar high, but na mwana na kumbe thank God to Vincent Mbaya who who believed in me and and brought out the best from me. You know he's one of the best directors that I've ever worked under and and I'll never cease praising what he did to my character and and me as a person pia ama as an actor who's been there for a long time and still he didn't he didn't put that bar high at Malik lazimu of key point no aliniambia just be you do you and Dimore will come out and that's why I love him because most directors I'm not saying it in a bad way most directors already tend to believe how much an university a time so mtoe me Si ati pepeta yes ni with time to time I was good definitely but but like kuna kuna some shows hata actor pe wagi hata chance ya kufanya <laughs> umeshaambiwa ah just you wasting our time just go go I'm a recasting I'm have to come here but yeah thanks to the whole pepeta team yeah which actor would you love to work with Kenyan actor that you've not worked with for a very long time I wanted to do something with George Mwana I remember even before pepeta George Moore tulipata naye tulikuwa kwa match ya Kina versus Selina. You know we normally play 
matches so tulikuwa kwa game tulikuwa kwa match ya football match ya Kina versus Selina and then George Moore pulled me to the side and said mi even do uongea mimi nakuambia Malik na jo tutafanya kitu moja mufti kaambia kaambia wallahi fadhila mimi na believe yes cuz alikuwa Kina but hatu kwa ipata na any scene na yeye kwa Kina mimi na jo tutakuja tutapiga show moja mufti nikamwambia wallahi kaniambia mimi nimekutambua nimekutambua bridge nikamwambia shukran fadhila kaniambia kwa hiyo tuzi tuzidi and hata wani yeye kuisha we doing pepeta pamoja you know and man i consider him as as my my father in this in this stuff yes i know maybe tunaweza kuwa na tunaweza kuwa na almost the same time in the film industry but come on judge mo has done a lot hata kunishinda i i look i look up to him like i look i look, I, i normally call him and ask him for advices and all and he's willing to give me every single and i love i love him i don't really say that when it comes to to people i don't say that easily but i just love george i love george mo i really enjoyed myself working with luanda luanda jawar luanda is 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 wow luanda is just everything man this guy is multi talented wewe uko on set na mtu mwenye ni stunt coordinator anacheza ball i love ni actor <laughs> yo it's crazy as in nilikuwa na watching kwa tv na mimi nasema mimi mimi umsee like ananibamba cuz hadi nikiangalia unajua mimi ni one of the people wenye mimi si watch kitu film ku watch mimi watch mpaka naangalia credits by the way uko gani mimi unaweza na mimi kwa cinema hadi ubweke mimi mimi baki mpaka naona credits so nilikuwa na shida gani kiona Luanda Jawar assistant could in I'm like I want to meet this guy and I want to work na funny enough before I even worked with Luanda he I saw I saw what he did for Mission to the Rescue yake angusha gari and I was like wow I really want to meet this guy and just talk to him and understand one year later I could one year I could isha tukapatana on the set of pepeta na yeye ndo alikuwa stand uh, stand coordinator and teacher wetu pia you know I really felt honored being under Charles Oda Charles Oda is one of the best actors Kenya has ever had that guy has traveled he's moved he understands the craft from Kenya to US to everywhere so aligendo alifanya workshop and it was really really amazing like umse alitufanya tuka understand characters zetu even before mbaya sasa tuchukue you know who else um i'd really love to work with well i don't know now I've, i think i've worked with everyone i wish olwenya was still alive he he was one of the people when yebian ilikuwa anaangalia gani anasema man this guy is good at his craft i love people's voices as well in terms of acting kuna msemo mwenye anaweza ongea useme ah yes ako na facial expression power but kunule akiongea una feel Ooh. you know mr ojambo is an exceptional talent man he's a, he's like my dad as well is ojambo tulipata na hapa capital center when i when i was in my quitting days i just quit my career and i didn't want to do anything else i was like i'm fed up with tv i hate acting you know your time to come to kasirikia and then ojambo was with my mom and ojambo stops us and it's like wewe kijana nataka urudi and i was like kama ujambo ananiambia hivi i need to go back but the people don't know that ujambo is the one who actually made me go back even before bogi called me ujambo ndo alinifanya nikakaa nikaanza kusema let me go back to this thing this is what i love and this is what nilipatiwa hivi na mungu muona niachane nayo so shout out to mr oj um who else like there's a lot of kenyan actors i really want to be on set again with bogi and just see how this guy because this guy has really grown into this craft from our machacha you know machacha really kwa yes it was really dope and machacha was one of the most viewed shows in Kenya but i really want us be in a film set with him no na yingine tulikuwa tunafanya more of um, drama comedy but now i really want to be in a film set with him and just see his process see what he does you know because he's one of my favorite actors me hata mimi nikimpigia muombie he's one of my favorite actors in kenya i wouldn't even say young or old no he's one of my favorite actors in kenya so i really oh now one person mwenye amebakia that i really really want to share a set with my god this man melvin alusa is my best <laughs> actor in Kenya George Mo and Melvin just have something on me like me mu sema watu wawili man i say wamefika far godfather yetu obviously ni Raymond Ofula cuz everyone Raymond maze Raymond Ofula John C Biokumu Mudamba how you are say maze wali set yeni tunaangalia gani but like kwa George Mo 
So I judge more I've already worked with George. But I really wanna do more and more with George. But Pia Melo, Sijay share set na Melo to Jay kwa set pamoja. But Pia Melo natakanga sana. Another exceptional talent is Bilal Bilal. Yeah, I Yeah. Bilal uh, Moura na Robert Agengo. Yes. And Bilal, you know Bilal that Bilal, he's really an exceptional talent as well. Mm-hmm. He was he was he acted as as uh, as as Nani mm, in Pepeta. Sports director. Ule mwenye Biki anenda na muomba sponsorship alafu ya nakunyo tu chai. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> These are people that walai miusikia. When, when, when it comes to actresses, I really want to share a set with my mom one day. Maze, that has been my prayer. That has been my prayer for the longest. That one day to cast you and a mother to find you to keep my sister as well. Because she's also a, a very good um, actress. Uh, Melissa Kiplangat, Nini Washera. Um, I was really glad to work with Avril once again. We did something back then. And I was really glad. Um, who else? Like there's a lot of talent that I swear I just wanna work with everyone that that Napenda. Now we gonna maybe miss Aujina, but God and Aju and Aju to make it come to pass. Yeah. Amen. What do you love most about your fans? about my fans because they've never given up on me even when i was not on screen i'd still see people saying at eight una coaching and i'm like bro i'm not even on screen anymore <laughs> but you're glad to be, uh, glad nili rudi na i mean like uskumeo gurudumu eh na mimi waita young billy no no dini me yeah young billy this is my trademark yeah i call them my fans are young billionaires young yeah. billionaires in terms of it can be finances at heart love and all that so young billy comes from that Yeah so my fans ni ni wagenje hata kama sometimes awaniambia gi by the hiyo role ukuitoa poa they always yes man but ni saa tu tunawapenda hivyo hivyo na gladly squagi na mahitas wengi kwa sababu miss spending unajua kama upendi cloud ama uikangi vitu za cloud kila saa ndio ugrueshe namba zako za social media au utakuwa na mahitas mimi kiatu watu acting yenye nafanya hapo na wao wachukue venye wataichukua kama wataipenda but watu wengi huipenda kama sasa hivi unaona kila mtu anajua kuhusu pepeta you know watu wote walikuwa na machichari 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 kina 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 but sasa watu so unapenda hiyo napenda gani kifanya kitu na watu wanaiongelea yeah aha uh-huh. the same same fans unajua wewe we do unakuanga chini ya maji sana yeah so the same same fans want to know are you seeing someone um Let's leave that for the books. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave that. But I'm happy. I'm, I'm a happy human being. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm happy. Um, yeah. What okay, what I really want to say even uh apart from mambo na magaldem na nini, ni one time I wish Kenya inaweza kuwa na platform where we can be seeing all our beautiful short films because I've done a lot of short films. So wasio kujanga waniambia eh umenyamaza sana. They don't know that they don't come to cinemas to watch short films ziki premier. Unaona so watu kwaji tumenyamaza. I wish to kwa na platform where we'll be seeing Kenyan short films purely. I wish to kwa na places where we'll be seeing Kenyan feature films. Cuz most of the time unajua ni feature film ngapi ufanywe ina year. By the way akusi mingi si moja mingi. Azifikia ngi. Azifikia ngi watu. But ile nyati itatoka maybe itapelekwa Netflix. No so tusema Kali but we've done there's a lot of feature films uh, um, premiering every single year a lot of short films premiered and shout out to one one fine day and some fine day films I was saying I'm making the dopest short films akina Ivy Kiru Makwamboy those guys are just exceptional I did um an, a short film that's coming out soon it's called Mawimbi still waiting on on my boss Ivy my producer my former producer Ivy Kiru at party the tentative dates that it akwina talk about it's really nice i also did a an, a short film called kutu that won kalasha best short film last year and uh, <clears throat> the stewardship of <clears throat> of peter director peter gitao and <clears throat> it was one of the best as well nayo tulikuwa na kate kate actress you know tulikuwa na but wase watasema ati ati ai malik tunataka kuona na kate hawajui kutu tulisha kuwa na kate you know our jayona our jayona na tulikuwa pia na foyo amboy foyo oh wow, foyo amboy and kate are just mazee i am a girl them new badass you know yeah but 
Yeah, so I I pray and and believe, pray and and believe that one day to take one easy platforms, short films, Kenyan short films, Kenyan feature films. See it is in that premier love after premier hotels. Zime na na maji. No na. You know prayer yangu. I know you've worked on very many projects. Which is the most um, emotional <coughs> scene you've done, and in which show? The most emotional scene is in Pepeta, but I won't say that scene because it's a spoiler. But uh, I had a couple of emotional scenes in Pepeta. Dio being shot, you guys have already seen that in episode four. That was, oh, man, I cried even watching it again. Man, because that's something that happened in real life. You know, Pepeta was really at a situation where he was emotional. These are people who went through that. The guy Junior, that's a Rio, went through all these things that we are enjoying as a as a series. He went through that in real life. Please. So you can imagine, Mazi. Shout out to Rio and God and let you to your strength. You know, um, other emotional scenes are coming. The other emotional scene that I remember was machachari there was a scene where the ghetto was burning and we we're just trying to tell the government that ghetto in a chomeka lafa watu wenda wapi unajua but you need tambo sio hata kama unataka kumka but that was one of my greatest scenes ever um the other emotional scene was for a short film i did yo mawimbi um you guys will see it but it's 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 a story about a fisherman who am I concentrated sana na fishing baka kaachilia family yake you know so the mom uh, the wife to that guy alienda gana mtoi wake to a certain town i think it was mombasa town wakaacha baba in the native land ya fishing and then this guy the so now me i come back with my mom's body after she's dead and then me and dad are trying to reconcile and mushoe we reconcile but there's still that that was also so emotional and i pre- uh, i acted alongside one of the best actors kenya has in the name of mze uh, mze kiza that's his character name kwapete but yeah he's one of the best best actors i've ever worked under yeah and i was also with eravuna who plays baba junior who also with him in that show is another bit. i'm sure you can say that baba junior is really good what but they are not fanya mpaka to collect this guy is cult yes i do collect you know yeah he's really good by the way mm, so those two men pia walini shape kwa hiyo that uh, short film that we were doing also when we were doing kutu i had an, another emotional scene whereby in kutu talks about ali pregnancy so for you was playing as my my girlfriend in the, in the in the in the short film and there's this pressure of after you've been circumcised you know there's a lot of weird things that some weird parts of africa people do in terms of so my character the, the character I was playing me I'm after amenda ame maliza class it alafu ame circumcised you alafu after that ananza kupatiwa pressure na kazini yake mkubwa a sleep na a girl so anena ana sleep na foi akiwa tu hivyo circumcised na hizo mapain zote na ma- I mean anena ana sleep na wanamletea a girl wa a sex worker anakuja analala na akiwa tu na hizo stitches and then this guy is shy about it and then after that now he starts going with this girl sasa foi he don't want to play your character and then they sleep with foi but always sleep kwa nyumba so they sleep kwa bush pamoja hizi ni ushaguizi vitu happen real life cause kuna hiyo pressure and then hapo sasa unaambiwa na watu wewe ni mwanaume na you can sit with us you know just because of of doing that alafu you we go back to the house and foi comes and she's like um you know um mona say utaki stories za ngoma ni after ulala na mimi and then i'm like ah we ni 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 my story and then she's like i'm pregnant and i'm like what nini you know the story ends aji kumbe the father to to that girl now for he was my mom's husband so technically the guy is my father as well yeah but he ran away so my mom amelelewa na single mom so mama na call anasema sasa kate ana call anasema koni ubaba yako afike bwacha acha nimpatie direction so anamwambia and when the guy just walks in wanaangaliana and they like kumbe it's you you know it's been years 
Yeah. So it turns out the girl I've just impregnated is my sister. Yeah, from my dad. Mind blowing. So no one isn't serious and what isn't if it was any what one and watch. So it was really emotional knowing that things like this happen. But they have really played emotional stories. Also Drunk Dead. Drunk Dead is on YouTube. Um we did it with um under the stewardship of Betty Fure and Akina Peter Kawa. And it was, it's also a story of this father who drinks a lot. And now the son drinks when he's underage and he drinks just like the dad too. And then he ends up dying. Yeah, and he was like my best friend in the, in the show. So I've done quite emotional stuff. Yeah. What has been the highlight of your career? The highlight of my career was when um, we had Kids Festival in 2012. And... I you know stadium was filled up 40,000 capacity and everyone was chanting our name Govi Govi go and I was like wow and then the highlight of my career was also winning my first award Chagulatini's under Machachari like Machachari really win several awards na kwenda tu hapo kuongelesha kusema thank you guys for it one of the best also me being able to still play these roles when I'm still young yeah, that's also another highlight in my career. You know, because hey, I was in a lot of competition. What do you buy? You know, just come and give them to me. We were the only kids from Master. So, I don't know what to do. What to say, what to do. So, as we wrap up, what are your last words? My last words is just to urge someone out there to just be themselves. I don't like motivational speeches, but <clears throat> never want to be like someone else. Umtu anaweza kuwa anapitia hell na ujui. Maybe unamuona getu kwa TV unasema mimi nataka kuwa kama umse. But ujui umse anapitia nini? Ina ujui anapitia addictions gani? Ujui anapitia mental uh, issues gani? Ujui anapitia what na family. So you strive to be you. But but use these people as your compass in terms of yes, not how funny you to come home say, but that is when you come home say, you know, um, and just to urge every upcoming actor to continue. Me, it's been 17 years for me, and I'm still here, still doing the craft, and my dreams has always been to go to Hollywood and bring Hollywood home. And bado ija happen na sieti na give up. So watu wengi utakanga kuingia na one year waku wameshe na Hollywood, wameshe na Oscars, then Z. Yo, yo, yo ni ngumu unless enye wewe kwenu ndio kuna nyesha na kwingine ya kunyeshi. You know? <laughs> eh, but ni ngumu. Watu wanafaa ku trust the process, understand and trust the process. Don't understand the process and don't trust the process. They go hand in hand. Understand and trust the process. Na trust you me, you will be one of the greatest angalia how many upcoming see at says wait upcoming say watu wangapi wenye walianza tu mafilm kwa 2016 na sasa ni wanoma na wameshinda awards na mfanya nini no one you know ameanza 2020 na wako hapa hivyo hivyo so sasa kia kuja tu 2022 ama 2023 yenyewe inakuja then unaingia tu unasema mimi mimi yes kwa na hiyo kwa na hiyo courage na hiyo you know confidence you say i'm the best but please saw kuna the people who came before you pay homage to them give them that give them the flowers and then for sure what happen and ukipenda na wase it only needs you hour to happen then you'll forever get gigs up and up up and up yeah i'm sure do you guys want to meet my family yes yes sure sure, sure. sure, sure. okay so mm-hmm.